Good evening, guys. I hope we're all doing well tonight. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday evening as we are very proudly co-streaming the Horror Game Awards 2023. That is right. We are celebrating the horror excellent that has been uh, presented to us throughout this year. So we are co-streaming alongside a lot of other co-streamers, some big names uh, in the industry, um, in the horror community, as well as... Um, the main hosts of the Horror Game Awards, massive shout out to Phil, Will and Andy um, for hosting this event and bringing us all together for this. There's been absolute huge effort going into this. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for coming in. We won't actually be gaming on anything tonight, we're going to be literally chilling and watching the awards. I'm streaming it directly from my channel. Um, obviously, they are streaming it from their um, official uh, YouTube channel, which is the Horror Game Awards. You will find that immediately once searched. Um, but yeah, you know, you know, if you, if you feel like uh, chilling and watching it with me, um, I'll be commentating throughout and we can share our thoughts on what our um, horror game of the year is and all the other awards as well. There is best soundtrack, um, best performance, most accessible, most anticipated game of next year. So it's not like just about the year we've just had. It's also looking into next year as well. There will be an element of that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, go live everywhere. Um, I'm just going to take us on to our actual stream in just a second they have been experiencing some tech issues by the way so i don't know if it's just on mine it's yeah it has just um uh, go to this one okay so i think we're going to another link so just bear with me just bear with me a sec um so what i need to do i just need to set something else up so i need to come off this um, let's take a look a second. So exit off that. Let's click on here. Yeah. Then this should be um, should be all good. I've just clicked another link. So yeah, it's nothing on our part. This guys, it's literally just the um, coming from uh, the direct stream. That's all. There we go. <clears throat> Man, you've got to give it to the guys, though, man. There's always pressure with these kind of events. There's a hell of a lot of people watching. There was, like, almost... Uh, when I last looked, there was, like, 300 people or something um, all tuned into that. Uh, but, yeah, we're slowly um, gaining them back in over on um, this separate link. Um, it's only lagging ever so slightly, but, um, yeah. I will take us over to that in just a second. Once I know it's smoothed over... Uh, we're currently live um, over on YouTube and Twitch right now. Uh, we'll go live on TikTok very shortly. Um... But yeah, I'm just seeing how this smooths out. Um, but yeah, good news is it's all good on our end. It's just uh, the guys are working hard to, to just get this sorted, that's all. Um, yeah. It's always a, a bit of, um, always a bit of tech issues. But yeah, that, that's all we're waiting on, guys. We're waiting on the mainstream right now. So nothing on our end, that's all. Uh, what's going on, Lou? Thank you for stopping on in. I'm um, doing great, thank you. Thanks for asking. And Jane, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. Closet, what's going on? Said, let's go. I've literally been saying that, man, like all day, all evening. Just be like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's been absolutely glorious, man. Been so good. Um, but yeah, I am all resi Ford up tonight. I thought I would put on the resi Ford hoodie. That, that makes a point, actually. I'm going to move these. Does anyone else ever, like, tuck these in when they wear a hoodie? I, I don't normally like them in the way. I usually tuck them in when I wear a hoodie. <clears throat> See, I'm hoping this is smoothed out. So just bear with me, guys, because there's some cool stuff being shown right now. This is the making of the trophy. Let's get us over. This is the official stream. So, um... Guys, if, if there is any lag on this, like, the, it is from their end. It's not from ours, okay? So there's nothing I can do with this. So don't be alarmed if this is nothing on our end at all. Alrighty, so that's that. Cool. Hopefully this has smoothed over. Alright. Just making sure I'm lined up now, actually. That's it, if I go there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this this is our stream. Stop. <laughs> no, this is our stream. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> They've just ended the stream. Sorry, guys. 
like you say, it is um, it is the um, like you said, the, the tech issue is on their end. Unfortunately, it's not ours. So yeah, just bear with that. Bless them. I hope the guys get this sorted. I really do. Like you say, it takes as long as it takes. I, I'm happy to just chill and wait. It, it is what it is, you know. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just messing about now because I, I can faintly hear my voice and I don't know why <laughs> I shouldn't be able to I'm very slightly hearing my voice is that when I can hear it slightly I don't know where I'm hearing it it did this the other week I can't remember what I did to fix it Yeah, apologies for the inconvenience, guys. We're, we're just chilling. Uh, we're waiting for, for the guys to get things sorted. It's nothing on our end. I'm confused now. I'm trying to sort out my own stuff now. <laughs> why, why can I have my own voice? Guys, how's your Saturday been anyway? I hope you're all well. Please let me know what you've been up to so far this weekend. Oh, damn it, I can't, can't establish why I can slightly hear um thingy here. Sounds good. Jane said, just chilling out waiting for this today. Um, see what's happening with the new games. Um, yeah, definitely. That, Like you say, there are. Um, I put this on my socials. Um, bear with me so I don't get the numbers mixed. So there are 11 awards in total, 44 trailers, and 19 world premiere trailers. So there's plenty to look forward to uh, tonight. So yeah, there's even a teaser as well which is a world premiere as well. There's a teaser for the upcoming Resident Evil fan-made movie, The Keeper's Diary. If you um, guys haven't um, seen about that, please search them up over on them. Um, on all the platforms, they're everywhere. Uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram. Um, but yeah, it'll be incredible. I cannot wait to see the uh, the official teaser of that. Oh man, I'm just looking at something now. I'm just... Uh... I don't know why I can hear. I can hear when I click the mouse and I can hear my own voice ever so slightly. Is it when I do that? No. <laughs> it's so odd. Yeah, man, I hope the guys get it sorted. I'll, ch I'll go check on their channel. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> Should have come here. That's my little video, actually. Um... I know that they were they were streaming in 4K, um, and a few people mentioned in the comments like stop streaming in 4K. I don't know if that could be the issue. I don't know. I'm not sure, because as it came through, I bumped it down to 1080p. Yeah, I because at first I thought it was me. I thought, oh god, I can't stream. I can't obviously co-stream it in 4K. No, I don't think it's that. Alrighty, I think they've got it working. That doesn't seem like it to me. Let's go. Oh, wow, we should be all ready to rock. Let me get us live everywhere, guys. Oh, this is exciting. 
This is exciting. Contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Viewer discretion is advised. Yes. Got it. No audio on YouTube. I'll see if I get it sorted, guys. I have learned that horror game performances are no joke. So, as Marguerite Baker would say, all right, you motherfuckers, let's get down to business. And the nominees for best performance are Nick Apostolides as Leon Kennedy in Resident Evil 4. Bryn April as Holly Beltrain in Saint Maker. Nola Klopp as the narrator in Bramble the Mountain King. James McCaffrey and Sam Lake as Alex Casey in Alan Wake 2. Matthew Peretta and Ilka Vili as Alan Wake in Alan Wake 2. Tom Schalk as Gordon in My Friendly Neighborhood. Jonathan Sims as the narrator in Slay the Princess. Gunnar Wright as Isaac Clarke in Dead Space. The top three games as a result of the public vote are Nick Apostolides as Leon Kennedy so I vote in for. Resident Evil 4. Matthew Peretta and Ilka Vili as Alan Wake in Alan Wake 2 and Jonathan Sims as the narrator in Slay the Princess. And the winner is, there's nothing in here, Nick Apostolides. Yes, I'm Nick. Where's everyone going? Let's go. Bingo. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Maybe you did. I voted for our boy Nick as our Leon Kennedy. Let's go. Hey, Nick Apostolidis here. What can I say, guys? Uh, to be nominated for Best Actor in a Horror Game and then to win the award is a very big deal to me because ever since I was about seven, eight years old, when I saw Terminator 2, my first rated R movie, horror became my favorite genre, hands down. And that's from everything, the movies, stories, and of course, games. So I also want to thank the, the Horror Game Awards for celebrating the best genre for putting this on thank you to the panel of judges many of you i'm friends with in the industry you guys rock and of course the fans for loving the game that we were a part of and recognizing that we all we all poured our hearts into it so 
it really matters. It's really special. And thank you to Capcom for giving me the opportunity once again to portray my favorite character of all time in video games, Leon Kennedy. So thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the awards. Wish I could be there. And this is Leon Kennedy signing out. Bye. What an absolute now dream, Now eat your man. supper. Congratulations to Nick Apostolides on winning best performance. Now, it's time for some trailers. We've got four game trailers coming up. Starting with the world premiere of a brand new trailer for Astral Rot, the new game from Abstract Digital, one of the development teams from 2021's Tormented Souls. Oh, let's go, guys. From the Tormented Soul, guys. Welcome on in to you guys coming in. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. This looks wicked, man. It really does. I've already got this on my wish list on Steam, I think. So this one's called Demo is now available. Hell yeah. I'll have to note some of these down because there are some of these that I'm actually not aware of. Student at Wenhua University, the last images we have of Huang Tingting are in the elevator of the school's Daoren building. The surveillance footage shows her making some bizarre movements and soon after, she disappears into thin air. The police released the footage imploring the public for help, but it yielded no results. That was 15 years ago to this day. Wenhua? Oh, those film students and their ghost sighting video. No way, Mrs. Wong. That's exactly it. If I can get something, this story is gonna, like, totally go viral. This film depicts a murder in 1960. Oh, oh, lucky you. I know everything there is to know about Wenhua University. If it's before midnight, they can do whatever the hell they want. No, no, I I've got to get out of here. Hey, who the hell's down here? Hello? Hello? She wants to eat me. There's blood everywhere. I'm up at one point university. I saw a ghost. What the hell happened here? <laughs> Building traps the souls of all who die here. The Bridge Curse 2, the extrication. I've not heard of this one. <laughs> oh, I knew that I come uh, I come freaking leap into orders. These look wicked so far. Welcome on in, guys. Thank you for stopping in. Do appreciate you. What is this? 
grown dollar making dialogue decisions? That's stripes and there's still a lot more where they came from be sure to support the developers by wishlisting the games on steam next up is the award for best narrative here to present it is Anna C. webster lead writer and narrative designer on games such as the foglands and vampire the masquerade 2 bloodlines best narrative let's go Did you get scared? That's okay. It can be kind of fun to get scared sometimes. It's just me, Anna C. Webster, writer and narrative designer for games. I was just getting ready to announce the nominees and the winner of the best narrative category. You want to come out? No? That's okay. You can watch from there. The nominees for best narrative are Ad Infinitum, Alan Wake 2, Strong Contender. Faith. The unholy Not trinity. played these other ones so far. Fears to fathom. Ironbark lookout. Immortality. The outlast trials. Oxenfree two. Lost signals. Paranormosite. The seven mysteries of Hanjo. Resident oh, Evil. A few Ford. of these a little bit mixed up. Signalis. We know what they are. And slay the princess. The top three games as a result of the public vote are. Alan Wake 2, Signalis, and Slay the Princess. And the winner is... Alan Wake 2! Oh, I'm nice! <sighs> Huge contender that was. Nightmare. That does not surprise me. I write to escape. Every word is a step forward. <gasps> and a darkness. Disease. Sam Lake from Remedy. Thank you, Horror Game Awards, for granting the award of Best Narrative to Alan Wake 2. Cheers to Remedy Games for the win, to everyone who nominated and voted for this title, and to the devs who made it. And quite honestly, any developer who made it through 2023. As you might be aware, 2023 was a fantastic year for games, but an absolutely disastrous one in terms of labor conditions in the industry. So my fellow developers, talk to your friends and coworkers about what a union might be able to do for you. And players, this is where we need your help. With your support and solidarity, we can put real pressure on the folks up top to make positive change. Because while they're buying another yacht, devs are getting burnt out, laid off, and it's all for the benefit of shareholders anyway. So we need your support. So let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee and let's get to work. But if you don't mind, I've got some writing to get back to. Thanks to Anna again for presenting that award. Congratulations to Alan Wake 2. Now the less said about how many horror developers are lurking in the basement here, or what they're up to, the better. We have more trailers for you now, starting with another world premiere. This one is a 2D survival horror game from a solo developer, which is very often the recipe for a fantastic gaming experience. Let's have it. Another world premiere trailer, guys. The 2D aspect as well. I love that retro vibe. Good evening to you guys who are stopping. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Whoa, this looks sick! Like it's got such character, even being 2D. Jeez. Nice, the use 
of items, keys, key items. Oh, no, it's cool. Dialogue. Oh my god, that chase fell like a big enemy. Wow. I like how the, um, especially the enemy. Dead of Darkness. Nice. We'll have to keep an eye out for this one, guys. Wishlist that one. Dead of Darkness. Yeah, obviously, I like how the characters come up large, but that enemy as well, you know. Definitely Resi 1 vibes, locks. This is great so far, man. Thank you guys for coming in with the follows and the likes. Appreciate you across the platforms. I do not want to be in. <gasps> Dark web streamer. I don't want to be one of those. Hell no. Nah. Joined at the ritual. Dark web streamer. Let me um make note of that one. Good on you guys stopping in. Hello. I hope you're all doing well. Good evening to you guys. Oh man, this is a blast! I hate when they start levitating, man, it's so unpredictable. Cover the sinister truth behind her disappearance. Like, my skin's crawling right now, guys. I'm getting, like, chills. <laughs> No! Microphone to communicate with paranormal entities. I'd be like, piss off. <laughs> Can you help me? Nah. Alexa, tell this poltergeist to piss off. <laughs> No prescription drugs, just the G fuel for me. Thank you very much. Super normal. Guys, these are terrifying. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Super normal. They're, they're from the puppet combo people. Nice. If your car breaks down, or you get lost in the woods, stay away from the house at the top of the hill. Because something evil lurks inside. Behind every door. Around every turn. For one of these if trailers! You hear somebody behind you. Chills right you do, don't turn around. The power drill massacre. Jeez. Some great games to look forward to there. And like all horror games, one of the most important aspects of them will be their music. A good score is the difference between mild chills and an experience which crawls into your brain and haunts your nightmares. Which is why we have an award for best soundtrack, as presented by Twitch partner and VTuber Lena Laser. Thank you guys very much for, for letting me be a part of something so awesome. I cannot wait to see this. The moment I saw that there was like a horror awards show, I was stoked out of my mind. So thank you guys very much for putting this together. The nominees for best soundtrack are Petre Alonco for Alan Wake 2, Martin Wave and Dan Wakefield for Bramble, The Mountain King. Akira Yamaoka for Decarnation. RJ Lake for El Paso Elsewhere. 
Valco Game Studios for Labyrinthine. Akuma Kira for Lunacid. Idenori Iwasaki for Paranormal Sight, The Seven Mysteries of Hunger. Kota Suzuki for Resident Evil 4. This had my vote. Takeda Sirens and 1000 Eyes for Signalis. Honorable mention. Jonathan right. Piros for System Shock. Ross Trigenza for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The top well, three games as a result of the public vote are Petri Alonko for Alan Wake 2, Kota Suzuki for Resident Evil 4, and Cicada Sirens and A Thousand Eyes for Signalis. And the winner is three solid games. Petri Alonko for Alan Wake 2. Hey, let's go! I mean, any any of those three was well deserving. So absolute GG. Jeez, what a solid category of nominees, though. There were some goats. Sam Lake here from Remedy. Thank you, Horror Game Awards, for the award of the best soundtrack for Alan Wake 2. Congratulations to Alan Wake 2 for winning best soundtrack. We're still searching for some lake in that dark basement, but our plan is to play Herald of Darkness, and hopefully we can locate him when he starts doing the dance. The next trailer coming up is for an anima from Obscure Tales, and we're also delighted to announce that in the new year we'll be publishing an interview that we do with them, and more gameplay footage as well, as hosting a giveaway of their previous game, Lamentum. Look out for more info in January at thehorrorgameawards.com. This will also mark the return of our podcast, Talking Terror, for its second season. We'll have more developer interviews, talking to some great people about some fantastic existing and future horror games. You won't want to miss it. Now, here are the trailers. So, thank you guys, uh, those who have not long stopped in. Good evening to you all. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's got Resident Evil Survivor vibes, I think, with his green jacket. Cool, man. Literally all of these look goated. Perennial oh, that looks intimidating, man. This looks, uh, yeah, I'd rather play it back on co-op. This looks intimidating, man. This really does. I'm literally writing down, guys, like all the um, all the games from the trailers. Okay. The tunnel you must not enter. Jeez, what a vibe! It was opened. It's, it's alright being uh, excited, I've got to play them. <laughs> Exciting times, guys, it really is. So 
So early next year for the uh, the first game demo of this. Another world premiere! We are getting spoiled, man. all over my Twitch. It has been completely gay crashed. 121 of you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight. We are watching the Horror Game Awards 2023. So kick back and chill, guys. I'm literally chilling through this. We're having a little bit of commentary throughout. Thank you so much, Matt, for the raid. Massively appreciate you, man. Beneath Thank you. 101 is coming in 2024. Be so sure to wishlist it on Steam and check out our recent interview with Ricardo from the development team. Speaking of developers, it's time for our Best Developer Award. Our presenter for this award is a Twitch partner and horror streamer who is somewhat mysterious. You might even say he's an eternal enigma. Yeah, thank you again, Matt RPD, for the raid over on Twitch. Thank you for all you guys for stopping in tonight. Hi there. I thank am an eternal enigma, and I am here to present the award for Best Horror Game Developer of 2023 this award will go to the horror developer who made the biggest most significant impact on horror in 2023 and we had a lot of developers make amazing contributions to this genre this year so let's get to it the nominees for best horror game developer are behavior interactive Capcom. Obviously. Chilla's Art. Dead Drop Studios. That was my vote. Dim Frost Studio. Gun Interactive. Motive Studio. In 4 BA. Puppet Combo. Another go to Dave on there. Rail Studios. Remedy Entertainment. Bro, it's full of solid nominees. Rose Engine. It really is. Soft Star Entertainment. Sumo Nottingham. The top three developers based on the public vote are. Capcom, Chilla's Art, Rose Engine, and now the Horror Game Award for Best Horror Game Developer in 2023 goes to Capcom. Capcom, of course. <laughs> oh man, I love this scene. Freaking Donkey Kong in the minecart vibes. But man, all those nominees deserve the absolute credit. But my vote went to Dead Drop Studios, the guys behind Dino Break. And they've also got another one um, coming out as well. Um, planning to stream uh, that just before Christmas. But yeah, my apologies, guys, for not being as talkative. Obviously, I, I am kind of shutting up a little bit during these awards, but I'm hugely grateful for you all for being here. So thank you very much, uh, Raiders and everyone who's been here from the start. Thank you. For winning Best Developer. Unfortunately, they were only able to provide an acceptance speech for the award, but on behalf of all of us pulled into horror gaming by playing Resident Evil on the PlayStation 1, I'll just say it's very well deserved. Now, here are three trailers of some great upcoming games, ending with a world premiere trailer, but starting with Dark Fracture. A game where we have video evidence of a demo making Phil jump at the Waz Gaming event in London. So oh, nice. Darkness. Corridors stink. I can't get the smell out of my nose. The whispers won't shut up and every shadow seems to haunt me. 
Yeah, Phil does indeed stream away from me. Uh, over on TikTok I, and I Twitch. Just, Want to know the truth? He's called AK Black and they Red. The truth. So you guys may have seen it before. Why am I doing all these things? You ask. Why are you in my head? I just want to live my life. And Will is also Resident Evil Central it's over on Twitter. Just the job. Think more. Just the job. Looks like a fucking suit up headwig that that massive flying owl. Like a horror headwig. Dark fracture, nice. I'm literally making note of every game that we see, guys, every trailer. Because we like all of them looks so impressive. Like we we've got to stream all these. <laughs> so excited. Is that you, boy? Find your doggo. Okay, we're playing this. I'm all for this. Finding a doggo. We can do our good deed for the place? night. Roy! 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 What's it called? Roy! Roy. Doggo called Roy! The sharp of the microphone as well. Oh my I've not heard of this one. Can you imagine me with my mic? Can Roy? <laughs> what is this? It's like post apocalyptic. Death Toll Rising. Okay. It's like Stranger Things Upside Down vibes. I don't know if you guys got that uh, vibe from it. Like real dark and like a lot of reds in the palette. Yeah, I quite like that one. Curfew. So yeah, most of the games we're seeing, uh, you can wishlist on Steam. Some of them, the demos are out. <laughs> what? You can actually select that as a command? Yeah, we're playing that. Oh, bro, these all look wicked. Domino's delivered down here. It's so terrifying, but so heartwarming. I can't wait to stream all of these with you guys. What a year we are going to have, honestly. 
I'm so ready to just ramp up our streaming next year. The next award is for best horror multiplayer. Later Laser is back to present it. Although, uh, well, don't be alarmed. But she looks a little different this time. Best horror multiplayer. For best horror multiplayer, the nominees are Dead by Daylight, Dead Island 2, Demonologist, Lethal Company, The Outlast Trials, The Texas Chainsaw. This one got my vote. The top three games as a result of the public vote are Dead by Daylight, Lethal Company, and the Outlast Trials. I'm quite surprised Texas Chainsaw didn't make it on there. And the winner is... So a lot of people have been streaming that, especially. Lethal Company! Nice. This isn't one I've seen anything of, in all honesty. I don't normally play um, multiplayer horror games. Interesting. I actually didn't know you could do Dead Island 2 multiplayer. I had no idea. <laughs> so I had no idea about that one. But yeah, my vote went for Texas because we had, like, even though I was an absolute noob at it, um, we, um, Hello, this is Z. Thank you that. guys so much for the award. I'm glad you liked the game. Thank you so much. Our next world premiere comes from Lost Bullet. If you're not familiar with their work, their last game, The Mansion of Evil, starred a collection of horror game content creators who just happened to be part of the Horror Game Awards jury. This is their next project. Resident Evil door there, let's go. It's gonna be feasting. We should freaking uh, lock eyes on us. The Evil's Nest. This has been absolutely solid so far, guys. That like every trailer, I genuinely love the look of. <laughs> How am I here again? What's that EXP war trauma is that? That looks wicked, man. It's 
horror bunker vibes. Oh wow, this looks very PS1. That model though. Oh my god. The model man in the environment. Proper PS1 vibes. Oh yeah, this is proper 90s vibes. That that whip. It definitely looks like a bower driving that, that whip. <laughs> oh, is that an ice cream soda machine? I haven't had that in years. I love a bit of cream soda. Come on. Nice. I'm making a huge list, by the way, guys, of all the trailers we are seeing. All of the World Premieres reveals trailers, so we can uh, check them out. I'll, I'll post those on my socials as well. Thank you guys for dropping those diamonds, by the way. They are not going unnoticed. Thank you very much for your support. Confess your sins. You guys know my sins. You know I always go lemon and hair, but Nando's. Nothing is spicy. Terrible, and I'm the main writer for The Night is Grey. Here at Whale Stark Interactive, we're just a group of six friends with no experience that decided to try and make a game. And we've been at it for the last seven years, creating everything during our free time. On to the game itself. The Night is Grey is a point-and-click adventure game that pays homage to the classics while attempting to achieve something new, with modern storytelling, classical frame-by-frame -frame animation that was drawn by hand, an original music score recorded in studio with real instruments, and over 50 digitally painted panoramic backgrounds. In its essence, The Night is Grey is a cinematic thriller. You play as Graham, a man that's running away from something in the woods when he suddenly finds a small girl named Hannah. She was apparently abandoned by her mother in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Fearing the worst, Graham tries to leave the woods with the child, but there are dangers in every corner, as well as very strange wolves that are following them. While trying to get to safety, you will slowly uncover the lore of the land and get deeper and deeper into a dark mystery that affects everyone you meet. From the history of Hannah's family to an old mining company that changed the resident's destiny, a dying wildlife park, and Graham's reason for being caught in such a strange situation. Everything ties up with a revelation that we bet you won't see coming. All character frames were painstakingly drawn by hand to achieve the classic animation rule of 12 frames per second. Backgrounds were digitally painted to give everything a beautiful, yet eerie look. Everything was then animated separately to allow for a parallax effect, as well as animations and elements you can see. Puzzles are as grounded in reality as possible, so you won't feel that to advance you must arrange for unthinkable combinations that will lead to surreal, unexpected results. The music is dynamic which means you'll get a different ambience depending on the scenario and situation you're in, as well as with who you are talking. And for those that love to explore all corners and interactions, we have some juicy easter eggs. The Night is Grey will be available on Steam January 5th, but our demo is out free right now if you want to try it out before you buy. Thank you for inviting us to showcase our game, and thanks to everyone for watching. Gee, the vast amount of effort into that literally from the ground up. I mean, to, from all these games, but yeah, to see it in, in this depth, you know. Talking about creating this 
writing, um, you know, drawing each frame, illustrating each background. So it's, it's incredible the amount of effort and pure passion that goes into these. And I love a little point and click um, adventure game. I've got I've got a couple of like horror ones on the PS One, horror vibe ones like Dracula and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's actually making me want to stream them. You know, I've, I've a little. Um, point and click horror on the go, I reckon we absolutely should, so January 5th, not much we're waiting for this one, I feel like this is one, rather than just play the demo, I think we should, we should definitely purchase the game and, uh, and get this, I'll, I'll have to work out which ones are coming, like the order of all these games, when they're coming out, we'll have to, li we'll have to literally jump, jump on all these games, they look so damn good. Click vibes right now. Make me want to play them. Doggo. No! That fucking limb coming out of the mouth there. Bro, it's like he swallowed a human hole or something. Bro. That looks great, man. Oh man, these all look wicked. What's going on, guys? Thank so you, much you know, to uh, Interactive just for providing that extremely you. formative look at the creation of the Night is Grey. We can't wait to see what the game brings when it releases on the 5th of January. This sort of painstaking creative effort is exactly why indie horror is so special and provides such unique and memorable experiences. Which, of course, brings us to our next award. The presenting award for best indie horror game is Ash Millman from PlayStation Access. Best indie horror, let's go. Horror has always been a space of experimentation where creative weirdos can really let loose. And that is never better realised than in indie productions. It's hard to emphasise just how special and important these small, passionate productions are to unleashing the true potential of horror. But that is what we've got these awards for. It is my pleasure to announce the nominees for Best Indie Game are... Ad Infinitum Amanda the Adventurer Amnesia the Bunker, Ramble the Mountain King, Daymare 1994 Sandcastle, My Vote, Dredge, Faith the Unholy Trinity, Ghost at Dawn, Homebody, My Friendly Neighbourhood, That looks Propagation, good. Paradise Hotel, Rewind or Die, Signalis, Solid Game, Slay the Princess, Welcome to Kowloon, White Day 2, The Flower That Tells Lies, and World of Horror. The top three games as a result of the public vote are Amanda the Adventurer, Signalis, and Slay the Princess. And the winner is... Signalis! That is not a huge surprise. Huge following this uh, for an indie horror. Really enjoyed the playthrough we did. It was such a, an eerie indie horror game. Yeah, we, we had fun with this one. Very trippy, very, very weird. But, but cool though. Oh, Amnesia. The only thing that got me when we played for Amnesia was the chasing. I can, it's like my little high. It can't handle all the chasing, you know. Congratulations to Signalis for winning Best Indie Horror. And now, let's have a look at more upcoming games, starting with a world premiere from Black Knife Games. Thank you for dropping those dams, massively appreciated. Thanks very much. Lighthouse, it's gonna be scary as hell. Confirmed. They bring like masks. Oh, fuck. I thought you'd tell their idol is Jason Voorhees. <laughs> I want to be like Jason. <laughs> I'm laughing now for all these trays. I'm gonna be 
try to be Calvin's when it comes to playing these games, guys. You're, you're not going to have to pick up the pieces. <laughs> and a pig mask as well. That is another massive red flag. Massive. This is going to be terrifying. <laughs> Like this, you just know we're gonna get hacked to death. <laughs> oh, yeah, can't be got natural. The mending, hell yeah. I'm gonna have to, uh, oh, Halloween, Halloween. The mending, gonna have to mend my little heart after we've uh, played this one. Thank you guys for coming with the follows and the likes, massively appreciate you. Oh, Echoes of the Living! We've actually got an offline demo playthrough um, over on my YouTube of this. Really enjoyed this one. Huge chunk of game for, for just the demo. Huge. Um, there is an updated demo as well, I believe. We, we really need to jump on this one. We need to stream the updated demo as well. There's actually two characters. There's Liam and I think Laurel, I think. We've done the Liam playthrough. This is brilliant. It really is. The living. Literally, so many Ari elements um, and you know similarities. If you can see, obviously, the inventory screen, uh, the, the piano just then, the, the illuminating um, light picture puzzle. Insane. This looks hugely impressive. These crows ain't loyal. Mono Memory is an absolute goated Scottish guy, by the way. Um, he's wicked. He does some brilliant synth remixes, some of which I use on my intros and outros um, of my stream. So please search Resident Evil and um, Mono Memory. He's a legend. Woo! What is this? I've never wanted to be a sniper so much. <laughs> wow. We all either believe in God or we don't. But of course everyone will meet either with him or with the devil. I am a sinner and I have seen him in the flesh. God forgive me and save my soul. Oh no, not the little nursery rhyme bollocks. This never goes down well with us guys. Oh jeez, oh hell no. <laughs> Paranormal Records is set to release in 2024. As with all games showcased here tonight, please do check them out and support the developers by wishlisting them on Steam if they catch your eye. Next up is the award for Best Survival Horror, and we're glad to have an Eternal Enigma back to present his second award of the show. Hi there, I am an Eternal Enigma, and I am here to present the Horror Game Award for Best Survival Horror of 2023. The essence of a really good survival horror game is a game that makes you feel completely out of control while limiting both your sensibilities and your resources. Now, 
let's go over the nominees for all of these games that did this so well in the year 2023. Alan Wake 2. Amnesia The Bunker. Dead Island 2. Yeah, that's up there for sure. Dead Space. Oh, yeah. My Friendly Neighborhood. Had that on the list of strength. The Outlast Trials. Resident Evil 4. My vote. Signalis. Sons of the Forest. That was good on the stream. System Shock. Now, the top three games as a result of the public vote were My Friendly Neighborhood, Resident Evil 4, and Signalis. And now, the Horror Game Award for Best Survival Horror of 2023 goes to... Let's see how well I do this. Getting a little nervous. It is a massive award to present, to be fair. And an envelope and everything. <laughs> Maybe this is the real survival horror. Yeah. Resident Evil 4. Yeah, let's go my vote. I'll Very raise a G field to that. Someone. Let's go. Maybe some missing senorita. All the others that were absolutely deserve to be up there for sure. Ashley, where are you? Absolutely, I'll wait to, uh, especially Dead Space Remake as well. So I definitely mad. didn't want that to be but forgotten about this year. It was right at the start of the year, but wow, is that goated. Congratulations to Resident Evil 4 for winning Best Survival Horror. Again, unfortunately, we weren't able to get Capcom on the show to accept their awards. However, we do have a treat in store for Resident Evil fans. This year, another huge collaboration between horror content creators, specifically within the Resident Evil community, took place. It all culminated in $55,000 raised and two weeks of filming to create the most ambitious Resident Evil fan film in the franchise. The Keeper's history. Diary will premiere! We're proud to be able to present the first look at yes. the Keeper's Diary Firehazard Story. Oh, guys, it's going to be goated. seeing the keeper's diary when it releases in 2024 before we come to the player's choice award here are a few more things to look forward to next year Mysterious, and I'm invested. on the wall. There's like shaking as well like they could come loose at any time. That is sick. 
Samurai Unicorn. Wicked. So yeah, I'm taking note of all of these games that we're seeing, guys. And I'll uh, post these on my socials. The games to account for. Oh, wow. Well. These are fucking nuts. Honestly, these are insane. Fucking nuts how wicked these look. What? Oh, no, I can't even as well. Bro, I've not won on a claw machine in years. Man. The fuck there was a multiple headed doggo, a dino in there. Ground zero. Man, are we being spoiled tonight? I honestly I have no words. We're being absolutely spoiled with these tonight. with his rock ports on as well. At least he's ready to get running. This will just make him run. Is that a examinum? The sign of call. Another world premiere. What are these? What are those? What? Was one of those uh, unicorns from Wish called Mandy? Excuse me. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just got horses. Derpy one there, just called Mandy. <laughs> oh man, new matter. Let's get that one down. Oh my god, the list, guys. The list of games. Where is it? Like there. What? Like, there's not a huge wait for a lot of these games. There's a lot out early next year. Mega exciting. Oh, yeah. This is the um, Resident Evil first aid spray uh, drink that they've brought out. I think it's like a lime and mint kind of flavour. All those games look great. For Ground Zero and Numata in particular, anyone interested in the games can check out our interviews with the creators on our Talking Terror podcast. And now for the Players' Choice Award. It's been quite a journey, with 30 games nominated in an open nomination, with 4,000 respondents, and a further 10,000 votes across two rounds of voting to whittle it down to the final five. 
with nearly 8,000 of you helping us pick the winner of this entirely fan-nominated and voted award. To present the award is video game accessibility advocates and the creator of our fantastic show logo, Amelia Shiasen. Hello everyone, I'm here to present to you the Player's Choice Award winner. The aim of the Avori Game Awards is a show that is run for and by horror fans. This is why it's important for us that each award includes public votes. And even though we feel that we've struck a balance, we do recognize that it's still important to have a public voted category, which is why we have the Player's Choice Award. In September, we held an open nomination process in which nearly 5,000 of you put forward your favorite games of the year. The 30 most popular nominations then progressed to the first round of voting. After two rounds of public voting, with over 12,000 responses, the five finalists for the 2023 Player's Choice Award were... What do you guys think they're going to be? Let, Let me know your game, game of the year award. Resident Evil 4, Signalis, Play the Princess, and World of Horror. And I'm happy to announce that the winner for this year's Player's Choice Award is... Slay the Princess. Congratulations. Now, so it's been a very high regard to game. We're supposed to save her. You're supposed to slay her, or she'll go on to this. destroy everything. Do you not understand what everything means? You poor thing. We both know this isn't you. See? She's not a monster. She pries the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. I'll try to make it quick. What is she? She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew, but failing to hit anything vital. Oh no! I'll try again. That's what we want, a good old flesh wound. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mortal. You collapse to the floor, blood pooling in the cavity she oh. carved into your torso. Thank you so much for giving our weird game an award. We very much did not expect it to get this sort of reception. When we were gearing up to release Slay the Princess, a large part of us thought it would be buried in a veritable tidal wave of fantastic AAA titles that had the support of multi-year development cycles and tens of millions of dollars. That concentration of resources can often lead to great works being made, but it can also, unfortunately, come with a human expense. Crunch, burnout, and when things can't recoup an eight to nine figure investment, mass layoffs. But we're here accepting this award right now because corporate crunch and unsustainable budgets aren't the only way to make games. Despite releasing in one of the best years for new games, and an incredible year for horror, so many of you connected with what we made. And looking at the other finalists for this category, so many of you connected with small teams making passion projects. Five people made Cult of the Lamb, two pe people made Signalis, one person made World of Horror. A lot of people worked on the Resident Evil 4 remake. Also, if you got any of those numbers wrong, we googled them, so please blame your local search engine instead of me. Six people made Slay the Princess. Brandon Boone composed 55 tracks for the OST. Phil Mikulski made deeply uncomfortable sound effects. Jonathan Sims and Nicole Goodnight each voiced effectively a dozen plus characters across thousands of voice lines. And then the two of us did everything else. It took our small team about seven months of work to bring this project to life. It was a hard seven months, but I think it's a sustainable path forward. And those seven months were enough for all of us to connect over a shared experience that apparently means as much to you as it means to us. So from the bottom of our hearts, we can't thank you enough for coming on this journey with us. Thank you so much. Well That's cool. Win for Slay the Princess there. This is Congratulations nice. to Abby, Tony and their team on the award. As we dive into more trailers, we're going to lead off with a message from the developers of the next game, who we were very fortunate enough to get to talk to very recently, and you'll be able to catch up on the full interview on Season 2 of the Talking Terror podcast early next year. Hey guys, I'm Lawrence, I'm here with Gabriel. Hi guys. And Paolo. Hi. We hope you're enjoying the show so far. We're very, very pleased to present our first teaser of Tormented Souls 2. The Tormented Souls franchise is a huge passion project to the team in our mission to build upon classic survival horror. So we hope you enjoy the first look of the return of Caroline Walker as we keep working to the launch. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ryan. Enjoy. So if you guys remember, we actually streamed uh, the first Tormented Souls. It's over on my YouTube playthrough. Um, it was incredible, so I'm massively looking forward to the second installment.
there, man. You, you know shit's going down when a, when a bell rings as well. <laughs> She, she was a great character as well to play in the first one. Hey. Sorry you haven't heard from me in a while. I've been... busy. Trying to find out about this place. You're not gonna believe me, and... I don't even know if I really believe it myself. Sad I started on message boards, and I ended up in a chat room talking with people who know people who know people who have gone. They said a lot of crazy stuff. But the one thing that they all agreed on is that in that house, there's a room that can take you to the other side to see the people that you've lost again. I just wanted to let you know, in case I don't come back. I'm sorry, but I don't have any other choice. I just can't keep going on not knowing. Bro, she's been in the dark web in a chat room. She's been with randomers on MSN. You know this is going to end badly. And oh man, when the game releases, it's over to me to get her out of the shit, of course. It's down to me and you guys. We always save the night. <laughs> She's been on MSN too much. You need to calm it, girl. Another world premiere, let's go! Absolutely spoiled, guys, tonight. Woo! Jesus Christ. Okay? Everything is fine. Calm down, Adrian. You have to be quiet. Yeah, come on, Adrian. What is that as well? Shit, there's no blood. You have to inject that with blood. Is it just like that? Fuck. Not long to wait for some of these games. <laughs> yeah. The most badass horror chiropractor ever. <laughs> you saw how those, those bones bent back. tonight genuinely oh man the games on this tonight i'm genuinely blown away another dead spacey vibes next year and beyond. But which is the most anticipated horror game? Ash Millman is back to reveal the answer. We've just had one amazing year of horror and now we're all excited for the next one, right? How greedy. We've had just a small taste of what spooky titles are yet to haunt our screens in the future, but it's fair to say there's one that has got the most horror fans shivering with antici patient. The nominees for the most anticipated horror game are Alone in the Dark, Beyond Hanwell, The Bridge Curse 2, The Extrication, Conscript, Crow Country, 
Hellblade 2, Sanua's Saga. John Carpenter's Toxic Commander. My vote went to this one. Little Nightmares 3. Luto. Post Trauma. Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill F. Slit Ahead. And Tormented Souls oh, 2. Oh, we're all these games, man. The top three games as a result of the public vote are, these are Little solid. Nightmares 3, Post Trauma, and Silent Hill 2. And the winner is. Silent Hill 2! Of course. It's gotta be up there. We actually played the original to this, we streamed the original. A lot long ago. Waiting for me. This will be incredible. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Restless dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. Congratulations to Silent Hill 2 on winning the most anticipated horror game. The developers at Bloober Team and publishers Konami have told us they were thrilled with the win, but unfortunately were unable to provide an acceptance speech, still being heavily consumed by the development of the game, as you might expect. The fans and jury of the Horror Game Awards are excited to see what they produce when Silent Hill 2 eventually releases. Congratulations again, guys. Now, we've got more trailers that will get you excited for the games to come in the new year. Starting with the world premiere of a new trailer for Scarlet Lake. Bro, four trailers! Come on! Oh, I can't, guys. These trailers and this G fuel is going down well, way too good. Good evening to you guys. Just dropping in. Great to see you. Thank you for stopping by. There are to virus out there. Come to the sheriff's office. I repeat. Transformed just then. That one. Oh.
guys coming in with your kind words. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Based on an Indian folklore. It's incredible, like, and, and unique. Some of the origins of these games, you know. It's really interesting what the base with these, these horror games are. for that exciting first look at gameplay. Now, it's time for the award for most accessible horror game, because whilst not everyone is brave enough for horror games, no impairment should ever be a barrier to being scared out of your wits. Presenting the award, Horror Game Awards graphic designer and accessibility advocate and expert, Emelian Shiasen. In a world where horror games can sometimes feel inaccessible or unwelcoming to disabled audiences, there are development teams that are initiating a shift towards greater inclusion in the genre. Because after all, isn't everyone entitled to a good scare? So this year is no exception, and that is why I'm excited to present the award for most accessible horror game. The nominees for most accessible horror game are Alan Wake 2, Dead by Daylight, Dead Space. I actually wasn't actually sure about this one, but I, um, I voted for Dead Space. Because I did notice a lot of accessibility options on this. The Outlast Trials, Resident Evil 4, Signalis, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The top three games as a result of the public votes are Dredge, The Last of Us Part 1, and Signalis. And the winner for most accessible horror game is The Last of Us Part 1. Congratulations. And thank you to all nominees for putting your players first. You nice. do what I say. I think Phil will be happy with this one. Uh, one of the uh, the hosts of this uh, game awards, uh, as we've seen. He is AK Black and Red over on um, TikTok and Twitch. Please give him a follow, guys. He's a legend. He's our Phil. As is Will over at uh, Resident Evil Central. Was part one on winning most accessible horror game. It'll be buzzing with this. Naughty Dog weren't able to accept the award on the show. But we hope they appreciate that the horror community and our jury recognises their hard work and accessibility. Now, for our final run of trailers for the evening, and every single one is a Horror Game Awards world premiere. Apologies if I sound echoey, guys. I'll try your. Um, sort Hello, that a bit. and welcome. I don't do it now. new member of the Protein Agricultural Labs family. We welcome you. This is the first day of a new journey, a journey that feeds millions. Did 
Kuro have a guitar over his shoulder just then? Tag, tag, tag. Tag, tag. Oh man, I vibe with this. Side room 208. There is another Oxide game, I can't remember exactly what it's called. But... Make the hour or anything. Pew, I know those are. But we may not have. Hell. Is it? I. Our. Yeah. Meaning, I'll go leave it. Oh, fucking, that's a trip all of itself. Yeah. Insane. <laughs> Some of these were not getting release dates for. I didn't see one just then. Oh, guys, I played this uh, um, was to the, uh, this year. It's called Sorry We're Closed. This is literally one of my most anticipated indie horror games. This was so good. I got to play this for like a good hour, the demo. So good. Narrative and stuff in this one, bits of dialogue and, and bits like that. But I'm sick of this one, guys. Highly recommend because I can say I've played this one. Very impressed with this. And you can cast it and then expose the enemy's weak spots like so. Incredible, w wicked way to do combat, it really is. Otherwise you can kind of shoot blindly like that. Shoot for like that, that kind of healing. Yeah, it's, it's wicked. I'm mega excited for this one. It was cool from what I played. I can't wait to see like how the game progresses, like future game areas, and a few of which I've seen in this. Wicked. Uh, thank you guys for coming in with those diamonds. Massively appreciate you all. Thank you for that, guys. Again, I apologise kind of for the lack of interaction, but obviously, Where did stop I go talking, wrong? But, you know. When did I become a gear in the sick machine of this world? Always judged, forever invisible. Tired of being told to conform. But at the same time, I 
It's never enough. It's just a leap away. I can black it all out. Or I can just keep pushing. Knowing that anyone who sees me will think I'm just taking an extreme selfie. If that's what you want. Stage spray drink. So this is meant to be like lime and mint flavour. Hope those games look great. We hope you've enjoyed every single trailer we've showcased tonight. But of course, the show's not over yet. The point of the show is just to look ahead for the future, but to celebrate all the great games we've had in 2023. And now for the moment everyone has been waiting for. Here's Ash Millman to present the award for the horror game of the year. I'm back again, and this time it's for the big one. It has been an honor to be a part of this celebration of all things horror and to have experienced the absolutely incredible year we have had for games of all shapes and sizes. 2023 has been spooky as hell. And that is thanks to a bloody brilliant pool of developers and creators from all over the world. Thank you for letting us into your nasty, rotten little brains. It has been a pleasure. Only one game can take home the big old eyeball trophy for Horror Game of the Year. But let's take a minute to celebrate all the games that have been nominated for the top prize. The nominees for Horror Game of the Year 2023 are... Alan Wake 2 Bramble the Mountain King Dead Island 2 Dead Space Dredge Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse my Friendly Neighbourhood and Resident Evil 4. That was my vote. The top three games as a result of the public vote are Alan Wake 2, Dredge and Resident Evil 4. And the winner is Alan Wake 2. Nice. The victim was one of their own. It is well deserved, man. I mean, all the nominees were sick. But yeah, I'm actually currently so playing through Alan Wake 2 right now. Only the I'm currently streaming through that and uh, really enjoying it. Someone knew they were here. Was playing a game with them. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. Hello, Horror Game Awards. This is Sam Lake from the deepest depths under Remedy HQ, our deepest, creepiest thank yous for choosing Alan Wake 2 as your game of the year. We are touched. This is a big, big honor for us. This is our most ambitious game to date and we poured all of our passion into it thank you thank you so much congratulations to Alan Wake 2 the official horror game of the year 2023 there's a great big eyeball trophy coming your way as well as a commemorative frame thanks to our partners at Raccoon City Surplus and Frame a Game well done again to all of our amazing winners but also to every single game nominated across every category. This year has been a truly outstanding one for horror games, and every single game that held our journey's attention did so for a reason. The developers of all these games, and every developer pouring their heart and soul into the experiences we as a community enjoy so much, we thank you for everything that you do. Special thanks also to Moon for the musical showcase at the start of the show, to all of the developers who trusted us with the trailers for their upcoming game and to everyone who voted in the public polls and watched the awards. The horror game community is one of the best communities in the world, 
and we're so glad to be able to bring you all together for this special event. There'll be more horror game content coming in the new year, and the Horror Game Awards themselves will return for 2024. Until then, we're going to try and dust off these cobwebs and help any lost developers escape from the dark basements they find themselves trapped in. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, bro, what an absolute blinder of a fucking show. Absolute big up. Big Phil Dickinson, well paid for but also Andy, uh, Andy Cox from Bow has Declassified. He was massively uh, on here. Guys, we'll be on here, guys. W watch out, watch out, watch out. Costa TV, we're on there. Let's go. Absolutely honoured to be part of the jury and to um, have voted, um, you know, for like the nominees for all of the awards. It's been absolutely incredible to uh, both be on the jury and to co-stream this fantastic event. So it is so cool seeing us on there. So yeah, absolute big up to those three guys right there at the end. Um, it's thanks to those that uh, this will happen. So awesome news, this will be back in 2024. Let's go. I already can't wait for the next one, guys. Oh man, that was so sick. Let me just have a quick look at my um, audio a second. I didn't, I didn't touch anything, anything when we was, was um, actually, actually streaming, streaming it. it. We're going to a random there. <laughs> two seconds. Let me go on our. Um, two seconds. And I'm going to sort the audio. That's it. Let's just let's just get this as our background. There we go. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what don't platform, know what platform, platform this, has this has been on. Been on. Hang, Hang on, on is it? Um... Oh, it's oh, that, it's that one. one. Oh, no, it's not. This one. Is that it? Yeah, yeah apologies yeah, if I've sounded a little bit um, um, echoey, guys. I can't, I can't remember what it's been, been from. from. Hang on. Let me just do that again. Let me try that one. That's still done. Is that done it? Oh, there we go. I think that might have done it. I just had to do another um, audio input capture. My bad. I, I just didn't... Um, yeah, that should be fine. I, I just didn't touch it when I was... Um, I kind of thought I knew what I needed to do, but I, I didn't touch it when um, the actual event was on because I was like, if my sound audio just t totally goes, then I've ruined the stream, basically. Can't do it when I'm um, when I can't stop something when we're live streaming that. Uh, but yeah, I, I do apologise for that. That's been really off putting for me throughout the stream. But I mean, like, what could I do? Um, I didn't actually know until later on, so I do apologise about that. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. That has been the horror game of awards um, for uh, 2023. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. That's been an absolute blind driven event. It really has. Um, so there has been. Um, there has been 11 awards, uh, 44 trailers and 19 world premiere trailers. So we have been absolutely spoiled with uh, upcoming horror games. Um, first looks at those and the gameplay of and uh, trailers. So, yeah, that's been incredible, guys. It really has been a wicked show. But thank you to all you guys who have stopped in, um, who have been uh, very kindly dropping, dropping the roses and the diamonds. Massively uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for that. Really do appreciate. Let's go. I wanted to drop that <laughs> to thank all you guys. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. Uh, I'll be back um, tomorrow morning. We'll do a Resident Evil breakfast stream. So um, it'll most likely be somewhere around, um, say, 9, 9.30am. I'll try to get on like a bit earlier. If It'll be like somewhere between maybe 9, 10am, something like that. Um, but yeah, I aim to come back... Um, like you say, uh, in, in the morning. Um, and yeah, we will chill and vibe with some Resident Evil breakfast show. So I hope that's cool with you guys. Um, totally free. Feel free to stop on by. Um, and I will be... Oh, I can't... Um, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The uh, the thing's gone uh, a little bit. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I need to move that, I think. There we go. There, there we go. Lovely. I think you guys can see me now. Yeah. <laughs> Do apologise for that. Um but yeah, we'll be back with some Resident Evil breakfast stream. Uh, I'll come up with something. I'm not sure exactly. I can't pinpoint exactly what we should do yet. I still think maybe hold off on the RE4 remake. Um, 
you know, next play through. I think we'll probably do that on an evening, maybe. I, I really think uh, Sunday mornings, man. Uh, I think they should be re- the weekend month should be reserved for some classic Resident Evil. Uh, we could maybe get potentially get some Bio Rand um, on the go. Um, but yeah, I think we'll definitely go with some uh, classic Resident Evil if that's cool with you guys. We'll try change it up a little, like you say, either with uh, some Bio Rand or yeah, we'll we'll see what kind of vibe we're feeling. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow morning, guys. Thank you very much for joining me for the Horror Game Awards tonight. That was an absolute blinder of a show. Uh, so please um, go on and subscribe to them over on YouTube. If you just search the Horror Game Awards, they will be in there. Um, there's Will at Resident Evil Central. He's over on all the socials, um, Twitter especially. Um, and there's Andy over at Bow has a Declassified um, across all the platforms, streaming Resident Evil and other survival horror. And also Phil as well. Um, he's He streams on TikTok and uh, Twitch. He's called AK Black and Red. So do follow those guys. It's um, a massive massively ambitious um award ceremony uh by all of those guys but they, they have absolutely uh they, they've pulled it off tonight it's really been an absolute blinder an event uh so yeah massively enjoyed that and i hope you guys have as well uh so thank you guys uh, for joining me sorry i'm just trying to get rid of <laughs> trying to get rid of stuff Oh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave it at that because I had some random on the screen. There we go. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to shut down TikTok, guys, then I'll, I'll go offline over on um, Twitch and uh, YouTube. So, yeah, thank you very much, TikTok, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Feel free to stop by tomorrow morning for some Resident Evil breakfast stream. And, uh, yeah, thank you for your continued support. Thanks so much for dropping all those diamonds and roses and for the new followers in to now, all the likes and shares of the stream. It's been massively appreciated. So take care, uh, TikTok. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll see you tomorrow morning. See you in a bit, guys. Love y'all. Alrighty, um, let's get us onto our chill and chat screen. There we go. Lovely. Any of you guys still in on Twitch? We've still got quite a few. I just want to say again, a massive thank you uh, to the raiders who have come in from my RPD stream. Thank you very much for that. I feel like, I hope I kind of emphasised enough how much I appreciated that. Um, honestly, um, throughout the stream, I'm usually a lot more chatty, obviously, but... Um, yeah, th- throughout the stream, I have to obviously keep it to a bit more of a minimum with us obviously st- co-streaming uh, the Horror Game Awards. Obviously, uh, I do shut up uh, throughout. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we will um, go and raid over uh, someone. Um, if it's cool with you guys, we'll go and raid Jen Von Lee. She's lovely. I actually met her for the first time at Insomnia um, earlier this year. So she's actually um, Nicole Tompkins, the uh, voice actor for... Um, jill valentine in re3 remake uh she, she's kind of um she, she's with, with her as well like as in like her kind of uh i think she's kind of agents with her and stuff like she, she's real close with the voice actors and stuff but yeah she's currently playing alan wake too and i think it's very fitting to go over to jen um seeing as it, she, she's absolutely lovely and um she's actually not i don't know if she's not long started streaming i think um and um what's i gonna say uh, obviously it is the horror uh, game of of the year um that we've just watched so yeah i think we should definitely go and raid over jen so please go and show jen von lee some love over on twitch and uh, i will be there in the chat with you guys in just a second so thank you very much you guys on twitch massively appreciate you and i hope you've enjoyed the stream uh, with myself like you say i'm going to be back tomorrow morning to play some resident evil and um, so yeah feel free to come on and hang out with us then so thank you very much guys over on twitch and i'll see you in jen von lee's chat see you in a bit guys Alrighty, we've gone and sent over that raid. We'll make sure uh, Jen goes and gets that all right. You did well. Okay, cheers, bye. My partner, Agent hey, my it's head. me. Don't. Let's just turn that off. There we go. Hey, let's go. It's great to direct a load of people over to Jen. She's uh, she's lovely. So yeah, I'll go join them uh, in just a second. I'd just like to make sure the raid goes over okay. And guys, thank you to you long-standing goats over on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the Horror Game Awards ceremony. Uh, like I say, it was an absolute blinder of an, an event. Uh, do stay tuned on my socials. Um, I will post the whole list of game trailers that we saw for you guys. Like you say, 44 trailers, 19 world premieres. We have got a hell of a year ahead of horror. Some of them out uh, the year after, but yeah, I think most of them... I think for the most part releasing next year so that will be incredible guys but yeah again thank you so much for joining me um for tonight it's been an incredible event it really has i think they've absolutely blown it out of the park um very deserved winners and nominees um it's great to be featured at the end as well um as part of the the jury um you know because us guys we, we voted as well we put our votes forward 
um, for our game nominees. And like I say, a very proud uh, co-streamer of the event as well. So thank you guys for jumping on board and showing your support. So let's go bigger and better for the Horror Game of the Year Awards um, 2024. It will be incredible. But yeah, thank you so much again, you guys. Have an awesome rest of your evening and weekend. And I'll be back tomorrow morning. Feel free to join me. We'll do a Resident Evil breakfast stream. So thank you again so much, guys, uh, as always, for your continued support. Good night. Love y'all.